Hey, 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 I am live. How's everybody doing? I'm Christy Darty. If you don't know me, I teach lettering and doodling. And today we're going to learn the names of people who have joined my lettering tribe. I'm so excited. I try to do this each time and to recognize them because I love writing names for one, but everybody, surely everybody loves to see their name, right? And so I'm going to start um, with saying hello to everybody first. If you're on here, say hi. Um, I, d I normally don't come come live uh, at 3 p.m. <laughs> this is kind of a, a different time of the day, so we'll see who gets to pop on. But it was a surprise live, so people didn't know I was coming. Did you send a text? Yes, yes. So hopefully y'all got the text or are getting the text. If you're on TikTok, hello, I'm glad you're here. Okay, so I'm going to letter some names of people who joined. I... I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I'm going to try to use different pens so you can see the way different pens write. I'm going to start with these, these guys right here. These are the La, La Pen Flex. And these are some fall colors that I got. I am hosting, I'm, I was hosting a craft cruise with uh, four other, three other artists. And this is what they are getting, part of what they're getting on the cruise for their craft projects. They're doing happy mail. And so I like this because I have um, an envelope template and it's perfect. These right in here perfectly. So they're going to get this too. So it's so exciting. Hi, D McBride. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Sherry Jo. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Summer and Mimi and Tina and Phyllis. Look who else here. And hello, TikTok. Y'all say hello as, you're, as you come on. You'll, you'll hear me talking to Facebook a lot. Um, anyway, there's Allison. Yay. Okay. So I'm starting to write names. I'm using the Le Pen Flex. I really like them, but I'm still learning with them. So here we go. We're going to start with um, who has joined both tribes. So I have iPad tribe and uh, a hand lettering tribe. And some people join both because they just can't decide because they're both amazing, right? And you get a little bit of a discount when you do that. So we're going to start with Stacy. Stacy. And she spells hers without an E. And that's always important to look at those things, right? People misspell my name all the time. I'm used to it. So it's S T A. And see how I'm doing a heavy downstroke? This would be a great time for you to grab a pen and paper and join me. Heavy down, light up, heavy down. You could do a swirl, light up, and then cross your T. I do swirls as often as I can. So glad y'all are here. Hi, Ann Taylor. Welcome, welcome, Cherie, Noel. Hi, Thelma, and Jackie, and Hazel. And hello, TikTok. Star. Hi, Star. Thanks for joining. Okay, so now we've got Kendra. And maybe you want to, uh, you have a K in your name and you want to learn how to letter a K. So this would be a great time to do that. Um, a lot of people ask me about Ks. They're like, oh, I can't find a pretty way to write a K. So again, heavy down. This is Kendra. Those are our two... Um, overturns. Those are the stro basic start strokes that you'll learn as soon as you join the tribe. Like today, if you join and we let you in, or when, <laughs> when you get access to the website, you can go ahead and start, start learning. So there's Kendra. That looks pretty, Kendra. Hi, Tamara. Hello. Did I say hello, Becky and Paula? Welcome. <gasps> Melva's a new lettering tribe member. Yay! I'll be writing your name. So hang out for a while. And then we've got Jill. These are all um, people who've joined both tribes. So here's Jill. Look at that fancy J. L, light up, heavy down. Okay. And one more who's joined both so far as the standard tribe. And then we've got a couple who've joined both mini tribes. So Sherry, S-H-E-R-R-Y. And here's my R. I love to make a fun, oversized, fancy R with a loop. And as you go and learn, you'll start developing your own style of what you like. But right now, 
you're going to do something that is relaxing. You're just going to trace, trace, trace. Hi, Melanie. Um, and so enjoy the process. Okay, so those are both so far. And then we've got Michelle and Leisha who have joined the mini tribe. So I'm going to go ahead and write on here both, both. Oops. Okay. And then we'll do the mini, mini tribe. And this is Michelle. I'm not using line paper, but absolutely you can use line paper to practice. And see how I'm kind of doing bouncy letters here. I'm going up and down a little bit. When you do that, it kind of saves you because if you don't have a, if you don't have a straight line, it kind of saves you to kind of balance it out. You know, it makes it perfectly imperfect. Hi, Mandy. Oh, she says, welcome to all my new members. Martha, 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 I have you. You have joined the something, something. Where did I see you? You joined the iPad. The iPad. I don't have you as both, but I got you an iPad. Woohoo! You logged in and it didn't work. Okay, make sure we understand. Oh, you log are you saying you logged into StreamYard and it didn't work? I bet you did. And I understand. Leisha L. But anyway, congratulations. I see that you joined. Leisha, I wonder if Leisha is short for something. There we go. So we have two mini tribers. And then we got a whole bunch of iPad and a whole bunch of um, mini tribe, both of them. So if you're wondering, like, what, what are y'all talking about? I have tribes that open up their monthly membership and it, they open up twice a year. And right now we're open to new members. So I'm writing down all the names of the people who have joined so far. Today's the last day. Of course, today's the last day to sign up. And today I'm just throwing out uh, a free live because um, I've been doing it all week. So do I show you joining both? Were you already a member of one and then you added? I don't have you as both. I have you not as both. Unless we wrote it down wrong. Um, now did, mm, did we write it down wrong? And what did you join? I think I have you joining the hand lettering job. If you did, if you thought you joined both or you meant to join both, um, then send an email to craftwithchristy.com or support at craftwithchristy.com. Hi, Sheila. You think you signed up, Paula, for iPad? Well, let's see. We are getting ready to write down the iPad friends. Where's Paula? It's funny that y'all aren't sure where you signed up because <laughs> we need to make sure you sign up for the right one. Um, what happens is when you go to sign up, you got to scroll. OK, you got to scroll because there's um, the iPad, you know, they got the iPad group. You've got the Shine Bright group. So if you just pop on and you're like, I'm excited, I'm going to join. You might have joined the wrong one. So so be careful. Watch that. Watch out for that. OK, now we're going to go to iPad. We have Renee. See how I've angled my paper. I like the way these write, y'all. It's easier to write if you angle. I don't know if you learned that in school or not, but that was one of the first things our teacher taught us is to angle your paper. So Renee, we've got Shauna. And Shauna is with one N. I hope I'm saying it right. Shauna, Shanna, Shana. You'll have to tell us. Muriel, Muriel's going to be fun to write. Everybody loves I'm, uh, everybody loves watching someone write the letter M. So here we go. I don't know why, but when I post this on social media, everybody goes crazy. Now, I like to do my M one, a, just a hair bit down my second hoop, loop hoop, hump. I like to do it a little bit down. So I've got Muriel. Okay. I love it. Hello, Vivian. Hello, Loretta. If y'all haven't signed up, this is your last chance. Don't delay. Don't put it off because a lot of people do and they're like, oh, can I sign up now? And we're like, mm, sorry. 
sorry, sorry. You never know what's going to happen later on today that you can't sign up. So I always regret it when I don't do it when I think. Okay, two L's on Allison. Now we have Rachel. Now this pen is flexible and you can see I'm pressing hard when I go down and then I'm lifting up. So what happens is sometimes, can you see my tip, how it's kind of leaning? It's kind of like warping to one side because um, I'm putting so much pressure on it. All you do is just kind of, why is it not focusing? All you have to do is put a little bit of beauty blogger uh, pressure on the other side. See there, there it is kind of warped. Just put pressure on the other side. Okay, Rachel, heavy down, heavy down. Are you practicing with me? This is a perfect time to practice. Do I sing a lot? Maybe I do. I didn't notice. What pin is it? Okay, let's look. Why is it not focusing? La pen flex. It's kind of got a glare. I'll write it down. How about that? Would that help? Sure would. La pen. I asked the owner the other day, I was like, I mean, like, is it French or, you know, and he laughed. He's like, no, <laughs> he's like, it was, it's from Japan, which I, I know that because all, all pens are from Japan. Okay. I hate to say all, but m most are made in Japan. And so I wasn't surprised about that, but I was like, Le Pen, isn't that like Pepe Le Pew, <laughs> like French. So just curious. What does your normal writing look like? Did it? Oh my gosh. Hey, Hazel, would you like to see it? It's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. So I'm just going to write just like I would. Well, look, <laughs> look at that. This is me writing names down the join. That's writing. I mean, like if I'm just going to write and I'm signing a check, of course, signing a check looks like that because I ain't got time. Who signs a check anyway? I'm talking about a receipt. I'm talking about like, you know, if I have to write it on something. And then if I'm just going to write my name, if I have to write my name on something, it's going to be like that. If I try a little bit harder and slow down, then I'll write it like this. That's never happens. So no matter how you write, you can letter. I'm glad you asked me that. It's kind of fun. No, if I write it out, it's a hot mess. Oh, Jeannie says the tribes are fun. Christy makes it fun and easy. I don't think you've ever written my name. Oh, I will. If, if I get to get to at the end, I will. I will. I will. Let me get all the new members names written and then we'll see what other tribe members I can write down. I try to write it down when you join, but some people join in between uh, launches. And so I might, I might miss it. Okay, here we go. We're, now we're going to go to the gold and I'm going to do, I have Rachel last. So we have Stacy, another Stacy. This is Stacy H. If you don't know which tribe you joined, you need to make sure that you figure it out because you're going to make sure to go into that right Facebook group. I can see you here, Martha. Yay. I'm talking to Facebook, TikTok. If you hear me talking to someone, hi, Mara. Please do Christy. I'm doing the people who've just signed up for my lettering tribe in the last few days. It closes today. And so I'm writing down all the, the new member names. So if I have time at the end, I'm going to write down some other names. But I have a lot more to do. But if you want to know more about the tribe, you can do that. If you're on TikTok, just click on my picture and then go to the link in the bio. And it'll today's the last day to sign up. And it'll have the little link right there. Hello. Hello, Mara. And then um, if you're on um if you're looking, we have a lot more friends now. Welcome, y'all. So you are um, you are on Facebook or TikTok at 3.13 in the afternoon. Now I know that. And if if um, I was thinking if our New Zealand friends were on here, it's actually a decent time for them. Sometimes they're in the up in the middle of the night supporting, which is amazing. So we've got Stacy, we've got Cassie. Hello, hello, Cassie. I don't know if you're here, but welcome, welcome. I see Cassie online all the time. Maybe she's in my hand lettering tribe too and just join the iPad. And Anne, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let me just put, let me put down who's on the list right now. We'll get to everybody. Everybody. I've got another Jennifer. Jennifer's a popular name. We must have some 80s babies here. I'm 
uh, not 80s babies, but se maybe 70s babies, but those who grew up, grew up in the 80s, including myself. Okay, now we've got Heather. Heather is another one that I had friends named Heather from the 80s. So Stacy, a lot of these names, Michelle, Christy, of course, Stacy. I had friends, Jill and Sherry and all the things. Too funny. I love it. I want to know who is younger than, oops, sorry, Heather, I got your little name. I'm going to write over that. Who is, let's see, what age group are you in? Let's say who, um, you won't care to tell me, will you, when you were born? Uh, if you are in your 40s, comment. You can say your, you can say your actual age or you can say your um, just 40s. Who's in their 40s? Hi, Carol. Now, if you're in your 50s, put 50s. That would be me. I'm turning 51 in a couple of weeks. Labor Day weekend. Um, and then 60s, 70s. I usually have, and sometimes I have a few 80s. And if anybody's younger than 40, we want to know your exact age. We want to be like, you go. You got this. And we can be your mentor. <laughs> and if you're less than 30, yeah, we want to know. Let's see what who these young people are. Jane. There's another Stephanie. PH is fun. PH, Stephanie. Okay, y'all, my son just got married a few, uh, last month. Yeah. Wow, last month, and he and his wife are coming to stay with us to, today in a couple hours, and this is the first time they've come to stay with us. They live in Austin. Okay, Deborah. Deborah is actually uh, joining us again. She was a member in the past of my iPad tribe. I mean, other tribe, and then since I've had the I, I, iPad, and she's joined the iPad. So that's kind of exciting. You're always welcome back if you ever leave. We want you back. Okay, Brittany, you're in your twenties. I love it. I did not know that. You're not going to tell us 20 what? Tina is 53. Hey, sister, we are we are close in age. And then Christy is 51. Yep, that's my girl, Christy. We are twins. We are twins. we got 66, 35, Hazel. Yay. Yay, I love this. 75, 70, 66. Look at you young whippersnappers. 70s, 56, 53. Turning 60. I love this. See, what's really cool is it. this is multi-generational. If you have uh, grandkids or um, I would say granddaughters, but guy, boys like it too. I know a lot of um, guy letterers that I follow and I'm just like blown away. Their writing is so beautiful. So it is multi-generational. Like right now, when I get on Pinterest and letter, they are some young kids on there watching me, like 13 years old. And so if they weren't in school right now or coming home from school or whatever, they'd probably be on here. Hello, Sandy. Welcome. Did I say hi, Carol and Vivian? Um, hi, Melody. I hope you're feeling better. She's getting over COVID. So hopefully you're feeling better. Okay, Tina. Where did I come up with Tina? Oh, there we go. Tina. These are iPad friends. Okay, iPad. Well, we've got both tribes and we got both mini tribes. And now we're doing iPad right now. And we've got Martha. Martha, Martha, are you on here? Hi, Denise from Knoxville, Tennessee. And a are y'all practicing with me? I really enjoyed doing fall doodles yesterday. If you missed that live, go back and watch it. It was fun. Um, if you are a new tribe member, if you sign up, this is what you get this uh, printable. And we went over, we drew last night, we drew this, we drew this, we drew this guy, we drew this. We drew a pumpkin and then we did a uh, technique with it and we did, drew a pumpkin pie. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. So we've got Martha, Tammy. It's so fun to see all the different names. And Christy. Is that the Christy that's on here on TikTok? Cause I knew, I noticed your name was spelled, you know, this way. And then I, I know we had some TikTok friends join. So I believe that's Christy. That's that's my age, Christy, right? Right? 
Hi, Elizabeth. Welcome. Amelia's 32 with three daughters. She loves. I'm oh, sorry, my mouse is on there. And a son who groans when we pull out our coloring supplies. That's funny. That's funny. You're like, get over here, son. You're going to color with us. <laughs> I love it. Christy, you joined. Yay. I'm so excited too. We got a few Chris, uh, Christies now. You just got your Apple Pencil. You are going to love it so much. Have you even charged it and like gotten it out and ready, ready to play? Are you ready to play? Okay. Now that is the iPad. iPad so far. Okay. And you are, hey, y'all, I'll be adding your name if you sign up right now. You can join anytime. That is so pretty. My handwriting is so pretty over here. It's charging now. It doesn't take long at all. Did you tell me which one you got? Was it the first generation or second? Like, does it have a magnetic thing that sticks to your iPad or does it plug in to charge? I mean, both of them may plug in. I don't know, but I've always just put my next to my iPad. Okay, this is the iPad. Try right here. I thought I heard rain. Okay, now we've got the mini. This is the mini Travers, the mini iPad. I have the reason there's a mini is because I have a different price point or people who are really limited on their time and they're afraid they're not gonna join uh do their do their work, do their work, be able to play. Um anyway, so I have a mini iPad tribe and then a standard one. And so, and if you pay by the year, actually get a month free. A lot of people like to do that. But I mean, that's a lot of money for someone to pay up front for a whole year. So um, Brittany's wise behind beyond her years. And I believe you are. I absolutely believe you are. And you are very talented. Oh, my gosh. She's very she does like decorating and all kinds of beautiful things. It's charging now. Yeah. The second generation is really nice because you can. The I'm talking about the uh, Apple Pencil, y'all, um, because you have that charging. It's so easy to charge. And uh in about five or 10 minutes, I'm going to start lettering names on my iPad. So our iPad friend. Yeah, I should have done y'all on the iPad. What was I thinking? Um, that way, y'all can just get a, a taste of that. D, there we go. We got D. So that's all of our, the, the beginning. And now I'm going to start lettering. And let's do a different pen. Let's try a different pen. We're going to do iPad. I mean, y'all. My brain's not working. I haven't slept in many, 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 many days very well, but that's not a good excuse because I never sleep anyway. Okay. Hand lettering. Did y'all know I started with a hand lettering tribe? I didn't even have an iPad tribe for the longest time. And then I prayed about it and I was like, you know, should we combine them? Should we make them separate? What should we do? And then the Lord was like, this is what you should do. So I was like, okay, let's do it. And then he just provided an audience and um, precious people who have the same values that I do popping in and, and you did pay for a whole year. You get a month free. That's always fun. Okay. Let's go to, let me get my list up here. So if, um, if I'm talk if I'm talking, if I'm writing your name right now, then you are, hold on. I'm trying to save room on my computer because I've got uh, to everything going on right now. Okay. Stephanie, Ann, Paula, Melinda, another Stephanie. Okay, this pen, marker, brush pen is different, Stephanie, because see how different it's going to write? This is like a paintbrush. So it's going to look different as far as style, Stephanie. I could spend a lot more time and like make it look a little bit better, but... I want to get through all these names. Okay, Stephanie, Ann, but it takes practice. It's just practice. Overturn, remember our lettering strokes, overturn. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you've signed up, go do your homework. It's, it's some of your first lessons. And then we've got Paula. See that look? How it's just different. Totally different. So there we go. And then we got Melinda. Welcome to the tribe, y'all. Welcome, welcome. 
So what you can expect is, again, you've got your your first, uh, your lessons already. As soon as you're in the Facebook group or as soon as you sign up, you can go to the website. Um, so you don't have to be on Facebook to do it. And you can get going. You can get started. So if you're in the iPad group, there's iPad lessons to learn how to use your iPad. Hi, Lisa. And then you can go into learning how to letter. If you're in the lettering tribe, hop on in there and start learning the basic strokes of lettering and then start practicing learning how to do your letters and all the things because that is independent. You have to do that on your own. You have to practice on your own. If we sat here and practiced every day, it would get boring, right? Y'all would want to see something else. So you need to do that independently. Turn on some nice music, relax, watch a show, whatever you want to do. Just start writing your letters. Okay, next, Tanya or Tanya. Tanya or Tanya. I never, I don't want to say anybody's name wrong. Okay, let's do a fancy Y. Let's try another pen, another brush pen. My favorite pens to start with are pen, probably either Pentel or is that what you're talking about? I don't even know if that's what you're talking And I do, yeah, is that from my website? I have some on my website. Okay, these are some of my favorite, favorite, favorite. No, they're not. It's something different. Okay. Oh, Le Pen, Le Pen. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the Le Pens are some of my, my new favorites. Yes, these that we're doing, yeah. Sorry, I need to just mind my own business. <laughs> I need to let Debbie do her thing and mind my own business. She's the one doing all the stuff on the back end, and she's the smart one. I just let her. Okay, Cynthia. Okay, these are called Karen Brush Marker. Love these. But you can see they write a lot bigger. Cynthia. See how thick they're a lot thicker than the Le Pen up here. So the Le Pen, you're going to learn. It's easier to control. I also have the Pentel that's easier to control. Love them both. I'm I'm a uh, Kevin. Okay, you have to tell me if it's Kevin that really joined or a spouse, and we put it on here as Kevin, because sometimes the spouse joins. But hey, every once in a while we have a man. Welcome, welcome, either way. Mary. M-A-R-Y. Mary's name is fun. Look, she's got, I do a loop there. She's got the double hump. Then she's got the big loop here and the big loop there. Mary. You have a hard time doing C. Isn't that funny? Because it seems like such a simple letter, right? Just practice is all it is. Okay, I did marry. I did marry. Now we're going to do Stephanie. My goodness, how many Stephanies do we have? Stephanie, I thought I already wrote like several Stephanies. But wait, Stephanie Reiners. I have down. I have down on both tribes. But, hang on. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I have to ask my uh, blah, 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 somebody about that, my helper. Huh? I need to ask about that. Stephanie, if you're on here, you join both tribes, right? I'm going to tell her you're on both lists. Stephanie. Reiners. Ooh, I'm hot in here. It's humid today. It's humid. So I'm going to go ahead and do Stacy. Okay, Pentel brush pen. Pentel. Let's try that. There's another Stacy. This one's S T A C E Y. S T A C E E Y Stacy. Okay, and I like doing my Ann like this. And this is Ann Rishi or Ricky. I don't know Ann. I don't know how to say your last name, but you'll have to teach me. 
you'll have to teach me the website address to uh, to sign up or uh, Paula, Paula, Paula. I'll let Debbie, y'all probably already know what you're talking about. Mercy. Mercy, what a pretty name. I love that. I don't know anyone named Mercy. Okay. Um, type of paper. Good question. When you join, I go down the list of everything that I like. Um, and so it, it's very hard to give you a quick answer of what my favorite things are because there's different papers for different things. Did you know there's actual marker paper, right? And so, um, oh, after you've joined, you should have gotten an email, Paula, check your jump mail and everything. Um, and it should have a link to there, but Christy, here is your reminder. Start iPad. Ziggy stop. Um, but what, what, um, if you just need the website right now, it's craftwithchristy.com, www.craftwithchristy.com. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep writing names, but I'm going to do them on the iPad. We have a lot of new iPad signups, which is so exciting, so exciting. I'm going to be going on a cruise, you know, uh, some of you know, and I'm taking my iPad with me, and I'm going to teach a class on there. Teach a class on there, it's going to be fun. Okay. So this is a, actually a sample of what you'll get when you join um, the basic lettering strokes. You'll start with this and then you'll um, anyway, you'll see, you'll see. And then we get into doing big time art with our lettering. OK, I'm just going to start a new document. If you are you've joined the iPad group and you don't know even where to start, there's a plus sign here. And then you're going to type in whatever size you want to do. I usually do like an eight and a half by 11 because I know it's going to print out this size. Okay. If you make it too small, it can be pixelated. If you blow it up, if you make it too large, it can lose its quality. And so I try to just go with what I know. Um, and so it's going to be inches down here and I'm going to do eight and a half. Oops. Come back. 8.5 by 11. And then I'm, you want at least 300 DPI, and this is how many layers you have. So you have 75 layers to work with, which is more than enough. But when you make this, when you start making the, the canvas bigger, you get less layers, and all that doesn't matter right now if you're new, create. But if you start getting into it, it'll make sense. Okay, so I'm just going to turn my, my paper around, which I think is my canvas, which I think is so cool that I can do that. I can just put it where I want, or if I want to write at an angle, I can do it like that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go here to the wrench and I'm going to go to canvas and click drawing guide. And now I have a grid and it's going to help me write a little bit straighter, right? Other thing you want to do is make sure that you click uh, and you pick a, a pen, a brush pen, if you're going to do brush lettering, which is the thin and thick strokes, which is why a lot of people sign up for this because they really like the brush lettering. And that's what I teach um, we do we, te we do a lot of other lettering. We do um, creative lettering, tall and skinny, stretched, blocked, all the things. Okay, so I'm going to go to script. It's just a brush that comes with Procreate. And then I'm going to go to the next name, Lindsay. Lindsay. And you need to practice with your Apple Pencil because it can be a little bit hard to control at first. You know, you're working on a slick surface. Lindsay. Okay. Hello. Hello, TikTok. Sandy. Brandy Barrett's friend. Hey, girl. Are you going to go on the cruise with us? You need to go on the cruise with us. Will there be a play replay? Yes. Yes. Welcome home, Vanessa. Okay. Joyce. Joyce, Joyce, Joyce. Wouldn't that be fun? We have a couple spots open, I think. Don't let me tell a story. Joyce, Michelle. Do y'all know Michelle? Because it's a popular name from when I grew up. My cousin's name is Michelle. One of my good friends here's name is Michelle. It's my age. If y'all just popped on, you missed us sharing how old we are. You can always share how old you are, but it's so cool how multi-generations love to do lettering. 
You have the same exact case. I know, isn't this the cutest case, y'all? Because it looks like a notebook. Like when I'm at the airport and stuff and I go through, I act like I fly all the time, y'all. I'm not this fancy travel person at all. But when I do travel, I like to take my path. But it looks like when you put it through the conveyor thing, they just think it's a notebook, which is kind of cool. I mean, I do take it out like you're supposed to. Linda, welcome, Linda. L's are fun. And then these, these fancy D's are fun. And now Stacy with the, my good, y'all. This is a for Stacy I wrote. S T A. And this one is up with an I. I think that's the first one with an I that I've written. Melva. Is this relaxing? It's relaxing to do. And when people write letter, I think it's relaxing to watch. Shalise, welcome, Shalise. Miss Debbie said she knows you. That's a pretty name, y'all. Pretty name. Dana. I'm coming up to Sandy. Sandy's on here. I saw, unless she left, but I just saw Sandy on here. There she is. I wonder how you say your last name. Desalniers, Desalniers, Desa, I don't know, I don't feel like I would get that right. There's a lot of people on here that are in each tribe, so if you have a question about something, I'm sure that they will be happy to answer it too, if we miss your question or whatever, um, and it's good to hear from a tribe member, because they've been there, done that, and they probably know what kind of questions that you have. If you're a tribe member, and you remember when you joined, what kind of questions you had, I think that'd be great just to share, give advice, and if you're like, well, who are you, and what you're talking about, <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm Christy Darty. I teach lettering and doodling with a faith base. So um, it's faith based. So that means every week we write scriptures. And if you're in the hand lettering tribe, we do scriptures like this. We make it a full piece of art. Okay. And so um, I show you different lettering styles, but we also use different art techniques. So you're taking the basic lettering and turning it into a piece of art. But every week we do a scripture. And so if, if being focused on faith is not your thing, then I would not think it would be the place for you. But it doesn't mean we don't want you. If you're interested, we'd love for you to join. Anyways, you don't have to be a Christian to join, but I just want you to know we will be writing scriptures. Um, but it's a great way to put good thoughts in your brain all week. You have a week um, focused, focusing, focused on that one scripture where you can try to memorize it or you can see how God's talking to you through that scripture. Like what, what is he bringing up in your life? Or is that scripture what you really needed to hear? <laughs> you know, it's something you need to work on or maybe it's a way you can pray for someone else. Um, and the reason I started this, some of you don't know, I was um, in a deep depression dark, dark, dark place. And through lots of help, counseling, prayer, friends, etc. Um, I just really wanted to focus on um, be becoming and coming, I say, out of the darkness because um, God brought me through that. And through that creativity, I don't know if you're like me, but it just heals my soul. It just, uh, it feeds my soul just art and color, all this, you know, you think about what's God's created and just the textures, the colors, the design, that's just what moves me. And so when I started playing with lettering in my Bible and coloring with, um, I've always liked being creative, but this is what really changed things for me. So I started lettering tribes. The first one was hand lettering. It just has transitioned into, you know what, when I first started, I didn't even know it was going to be hand lettering. Then I decided hand lettering and I was just ready to reach the masses. And then I realized that God wanted me to really niche down, niche down to people who want to write scriptures. And so it's been this big transition. But and so all that to say is my groups are called Be the Light and Shine Bright because I'm so thankful and I want to give God glory for this is bringing me out of the darkness. 
So Sean Bratt is the iPad tribe and Be The Light is the lettering tribe on paper. It's hard to, I know that you're hand lettering on both of them, but um, instead of saying paper tribe, because we also may do a canvas, we may do a sign. So I would hate to limit it to paper. What are you crying for? What's you crying for? Somebody crying. It's not a baby. It's just my dogs. <laughs> I have a baby here. I'm like, oh, I'm too old. Okay. Um, I don't know what I was doing, but my uh, menu's upside down. Who knows? So I'm going to pull this forward and it's going to make my menu turn back around up here. And now we're going to do Tracy. Sorry, I got off on a little tangent, but I just have to let you know my story because it's a story of joy. It didn't start with joy, but it's uh, now do I ever struggle with uh, sadness or depression or I mean, it's something I constantly work with. But you being here every week <laughs> and I'm you're counting on me and I, you know, it makes me be in the word. It makes me, um, you know, come with a scripture and it helps. I, I believe it helps all of us whenever you are um, not only going through a hard time, but whenever your life is good, we still have to worship and serve and be with people, like-minded people. And so, um, you know, we would need to make that a daily practice. Now we're going to do the mini lettering tribe. And the mini lettering tribe is Don, Becky, Dana, Trina, Shantae, and Diana. Welcome, y'all. So excited. I see some familiar names. Okay, let's change the color. I was looking for a marker. I'm like, I got it right here. Uh, oh, their daddy's home. Now I know why they were crying. They're like, feed me. <laughs> My husband comes home and they just go crazy. So I have little dogs. If you're if you're a little dog fan or just a dog fan in general, um, one is a dachshund, one is a rescue. She's part dachshund. I don't know what the rest of her is, but she looks like a Chewini, people say. Okay, what are y'all talking about? Oh, I bet you're talking about a screen, a screen saver, screen protector for your iPad. I really do enjoy it. I was surprised at the difference I felt when writing. Yes, it makes a difference. It it has a little bit of a grit, so it it's not so slick. Don Becky. My baby boy, it's gonna be here in two hours. They're gonna stay here for the first time since they've been married. And you should see, I'm surprised they have a bed to sleep in because my, as my husband says, I have taken over every room almost in this house. And I'm like, not every room, not every room, because just the dining room table right now, I usually don't have that, but right now I'm using it because I told y'all I have a cruise and I we're packing up kits right now, or I am, I'm packing up kits. And so, yes, the dining table looks like it's mine right now. And then I do have this room, which is my whole office and a lot of stuff, a lot of craft stuff. I've got my, I've got notes galore of what y'all sent me and just given me just words of encouragement and birthday letters from my 50th birthday last year. Anyway, I've got tons of that. Then I've got where I take my pictures, my little, I'll have to show y'all a tour, but anyway, so that's this room. Then I have, <laughs> then I have a room. It was like a sewing room. It was a sewing room. But now it's also a packing room I'm, where I pack my orders. It's not like I get a thousand orders, but a couple of, a cup, it, it trickles in a couple. I like I have a couple right now. I had a couple yesterday. I may not have any for five days, but then I get a couple more. And so, um, but it's nice to have all my packing stuff right there because stuff is different sizes, different weights and all that. So, okay, Becky, Dana. I see some of these friends have been following me for a while and it's finally like, yay, they finally joined. Am I practicing for the cruise yet, Mandy? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, oh, listen to this. Have y'all ever, um, okay, on this is Norwegian cruise that we're going on. Okay, Trina's next. Trina, one of my friends, she's a, a sign maker. Anyway, she's she's very talented. But I was looking at some of the Norwegian Facebook groups just to kind of get ideas. Like, should I sign up for this? Or do you just walk in? Or what about the meals? Blah, blah, blah. And when I was looking at it, I found this one Facebook group and it had rubber duckies on it. So I clicked on it. Have y'all heard of this? So you, 
you can, Norwegian, it's not a cruise line thing. It's a people thing. I think uh, Trina, Shantae is next. Y'all, Shantae is a sweet, sweet, sweet friend I met online years ago. We Then we met in on purpose at a retreat. It's so sweet. Isn't that fun how you just connect with people? Like I'm going to see Mandy on the cruise. <laughs> Have you started packing, Mandy? Okay, back to the rubber ducky. So um, I was like, what is this rubber ducky stuff? You can kind of join this community and you can, it's kind of like geocaching if you ever did, if you've ever done that, but you leave rubber duckies, you know, like just in random places on the cruise and then people can find them. And then you have, it's kind of like also the rock thing. The like uh, where you leave rocks around um, and people find it, but these are rubber duckies. I don't know why. I don't know why, but rubber duckies. So um, I was looking up some really cute ones and you kind of leave a note of where you're from and, and you get, they get to keep it or, Diana, they get to keep it or hide it again. So Nicole says, my dog takes up all the space. I have a blue healer and an American bulldog. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I love it, Nicole. Everybody else, y'all have to tell us now about your dogs. I got to hear. Yes, the cruise duckers is the whole community. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> so you've done it, Brittany, or you know about it? I did not know. But uh, Mandy, check in. I put a link in our group. You need to check into it. See, I think it'd be fun. I think I'm going to order some ducks and like my kids are going to. I've, I've, I've um, invited my kids. Um, so my kids and my husband. Uh, so when I say my kids, we I have three kids now since my son got married. You've ordered a couple of dresses. I'm planning in my mind, but need to start making a list. I know it's not. We're going. Our cruise is um, October the 2nd. For the ninth and my daughter's birthday is the fourth. She'll be 20. So Jackie says she has a one-year-old Yorkie that runs the house. The smallest dogs. They're in charge, aren't they? Okay. So that is our mini. Um, did anybody not see their name that's joined? Oh, wait, wait, wait. If you do, if you have an add-on, I think I have add-ons here too. Oh, yeah. Okay. If you add, if you're already a member and you add it on, let me see if I have anybody. Y'all, I'm about to have a cough attack as I normally do. Okay, I don't think anybody's added on. Okay, hold on. Let me mute myself for a second. Okay, we've got a Shizu. My mom has a Shizu, a black and hair, white, long hair chihuahua. Oh my gosh, they do run, they run it. They run the world. <laughs> They're so cute. For rescue dogs, I love it. I know, Vanessa, come on, girl. I think we still have a spot or two left. Okay, tell me what you're saying, Linda. Antonia Astachia, is that a dog? Is that a dog? She's from New Zealand. Maybe they have different kind of dogs over there. Or maybe y'all know about this dog. And you can tell me about your cats. I'm sorry. I hate to leave out any other pet. Maybe you have a bird. I'm always intrigued with people who have birds or geckos or snakes. I'm like, really? KB paints rocks and hides them in the city. 150 rocks this summer. I love it. Oh, that's so sweet. Doing children cancer awareness i'm gonna move my head so <laughs> debbie can post some stuff if you want to debbie here we go okay hold on i've got a cough sorry <laughs> vanessa has a cat okay i was just watching on netflix it's uh, the mind of a cat it's pretty good i don't have a cat but i just want to know about them because i'm very curious because they I had one and she, I just, I knew when she was mad because her ears would go down like this and then she would, you know, you could tell she's about to attack. She would attack my daughter every day. My daughter did nothing to her. She'd just be walking in the room. That cat would just, choo. so I haven't had the best experience with a cat, but I know people love them, love them. So I was trying to figure out the mind of a cat and there, I did not watch it, but America's Got Talent. Uh, there was a couple of girls that were on that show and they got these cats doing all kinds of stuff, walking tight ropes and jumping on command. It was pretty cool. You and Scotty. Oh, waiting for her dad to get home too. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. 
Okay. You know about it because your mom cruises a lot. Brittany, she knows about the rubber ducky thing I was talking about. So I was looking <clears throat> in Oriental Trading. I can get a lot of duckies. Oh, who is it? Jeannie, you were asking about me writing your name. A shit zoo called Boo. I had a friend that had, believe it or not, she had a black shit zoo called Boo. Aw. And, um. I'm sorry. I think I saw someone who said their cat passed. I mean, dog passed. I'm really sorry. Oh, Marie. Got two cats. <laughs> okay. Now, about Chrissy, my cat. <clears throat> that dog. Uh, I mean, that cat. We do have a lot of good stories about her. I will say that. She brought in all kinds of critters. They're a doggy door. So, I mean, that's not a surprise to you with cats because, you know, they're really proud. They bring you their, you know, little lizards or whatever. So she started off with that. And then she started being like, mama, look, look what I can do. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, we don't want that little flying squirrel in here. And so the flying squirrel came in and we're all trying to get it. If you're a tribe member and I've never written your name that you know of and you want me to put down uh, hmm, how will I know if you've been one in the past, right? Just give me the, the, the emoji, the emoji, Jeannie. It was you, Jeannie, that asked, right? So it was the flying squirrel. So the flying squirrel runs around the house, you know, she just kind of lets them go. And then we trap her in the bathroom. Well, I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. And my husband, he gets a friend and there, it's a small bathroom. And these two men, <laughs> this little flying squirrel, and then you can hear all this commotion going on. <laughs> it's pretty comical in my head. And then um, the next thing I know, they're, they have the toilet, and they're carrying the toilet outside. I'm like, something's wrong with this picture. And I have, I have a blog with it on there. And the squirrel wouldn't come out. It just crawled up. In the, in the back of it or whatever wouldn't come out. So they had to get a water hose and spray that thing out of there. That's not the only story that Chrissy the cat did. Chrissy the cat also brought in a squirrel and it, she took it to my daughter's room. I don't know why she didn't like Paisley. And she chewed, she chewed up a squirrel in her room and Paisley could hear. <laughs> she even like, it was dark so she couldn't see it, but she even videoed it. I could hear the crunching. Ugh. <clears throat> Two cats with strange taste. Watermelon, banana, and raspberries. They <laughs> others beg for barbecue chips. I beg for barbecue chips too. <laughs> Mandy, my <clears throat> her husband has agreed to a dog as long as they're low shedding. I know, right? Okay, was there anybody else in the tribe that wanted me to write their name? I feel like we were ready, ready to wrap it up. This is the last live I'm doing. today and so unless uh, something happens at midnight but then midnight would be too late for y'all sign up so miss debbie puts out a, a uh, have you joined the tribe we want you and we do want you um you can cancel any time and so here's here's my words of encouragement for you uh what's keeping you from joining if if it's money if you think about 18 dollars a month what can you can you give up a lunch a meal for that couple Starbucks for that. <clears throat> Maybe it's not the money, but you're like, I don't know if I'll have time to do it. Well, the replays are there and you will make time for something that you want to do. You just have to put it on your calendar. Okay. Here's mama telling you, because <laughs> I know that for myself, if there's something you really want to learn and do, you will make time for it. I tell ALXEA, I say, hey, remind me every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. to watch your lettering class. You don't have to watch it live. 90% of people or more do not watch it live. That's what's cool about it is to have it whenever you want it. Um, if you're worried about, you know, having all the supplies and things, if you're looking at the lettering tribe, you don't have to spend, um, you don't have to have all the supplies that I have. I suggest you waiting for Christmas and, you know, fun times to get those things. Debbie put the link. If you're on TikTok and you want to know how to join, just go to my hello. Um, just go to click on my picture and go to the link in my bio. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Any questions? Who's joining? Anybody else joining yet? So we have, look at how many people have joined. Got those and these and the, I think there's like 43 so far. So hopefully we'll have a lot joined tonight. Usually that's like our last kind of wrap up. And then we'll have our new uh, iPad and, uh, well, our, our new tribe family. We'll have our new tribe family. And uh, we want to welcome y'all. So go ahead and message me or Debbie or send the support email to ask any extra questions. But I encourage you, if you have this little like, I want to sign up, I want to sign up, but I don't know if I should, you can cancel every, any month. What are the classes? Okay, good question. Good question. <clears throat> okay. When you join a tribe, you are automatically getting lettering classes, okay? That's just part of joining the tribe. So you will learn how to do lettering. Um, I teach you step by step how to do that. And then we use that lettering to create scriptures and... Can you give Ann the email, the support email? And then let me take this away so it's not distracting. <clears throat> Every Monday I go live and I teach how to do scripture art. It looks different every week. And this is what it looks like in the hand petter, <laughs> the, 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 hand lettering tribe. Let me find one that's, I love that lion. I use different mediums just because I use like gouache doesn't mean you can't use watercolor or you can just draw with markers. I have people that do all kinds of things. This just made me think of something. Okay, so on my iPad, I drew a cross like this. And then I ended up making a journal out of it. But that's kind of the same idea. It's a cross. It's got flowers in it. They're different colors, but they're the same shape. And so that's what we do. We take... Um, a piece of art from here and we put it onto the iPad. Okay. Let's see if I can find some of these on my iPad. So you're going to be making a scripture journal basically, or most people like to do that because it's fun to have your journal. Okay. Devos and doodles. Let me go way back and see if I can find some of these ones. Okay. I'm the bread of life. I'm the bread of life. See how different, but they're the same, right? Or very similar. We got over here and we're like, why don't we draw a piece of bread? We've got our little wheat. Let's see what else we have. If I did them in order, it would have been a lot easier, right? I am the lot of the world with a disco ball. Got to have some disco ball in your life. Don't we have a disco ball on here too? I don't remember. I mean, yeah, look at that. How fun. So you're going to do whatever tribe you're in. You're going to focus on paper or the iPad. Now, if you join both, you're going to have both lessons. They are very different because you're learning different techniques. Like here, we did dots with paint. Here, I'm showing you a brush that you can use to make this luminance look. Right. So it's two different lessons with totally two different concepts. Same piece of art, same scripture. <laughs> Linda says, join us. You become as crazy as the rest of us. I don't know, Linda, about as crazy as, you know, some of us, but <laughs> being crazy is fun. So we're coming up on fall. I can't wait to do some fall layouts. So be thinking of that looking forward. Uh, we also did last year, we started doing a little bit of, oh, I love this guy. I love those guys. Let me show you my one on here. This one of my favorites. I don't know why. I just love it. I love it so much. So they look different because sometimes they get way more involved on here and you can do easy stuff like copy and paste all these little sheets. So that's why I did a lot more on there. When do we meet? Um, we meet Mondays. I start off at noon and TikTok. I'm going to go live also. Um, start going live on TikTok too. But okay, I start at noon. Every Monday for anybody, you do not have to be a member of a tribe. And we just sketch out a scripture. I do a little devotional and then we sketch out a scripture. <clears throat> then I go into the private group at 1 p.m. for the hand lettering. 
and I teach a lesson then right after on Monday. So Monday's at one central. Good, crazy. That's right, Linda. And then on Tuesdays at 10 a.m., I do iPad lesson. Again, most people watch the replay. In fact, hardly anyone comes to this live. Hardly anyone comes to that live. They all watch the replay. Um, well, I hate to say that because if you come, you are someone. I am glad you're there. I'm not saying that. You know what I mean? I'm not saying you're not extra special. Who do you talk to about your registration? Hopefully um, you got that. From Debbie. Support at Craft. Oh, Dara. Dara is her name. Yay, Melva's so excited. So I hope I answered the questions. Now, once a month, not the mini tribers, but the other tribers, we have a Zoom call. And it's really fun if you want to come on and meet other people. And it's, it's just really fun. So the other perks of joining is every month you get a template. <clears throat> so hmm, where's my template from this week? Who knows? Oh, I think my... I think it's gone. Um, so you get a template. Say so this was the template, but it's this, it's this like it's this design, okay, or whatever design we're working on. You get a template. So you can trace it. Cause some of us like, I ain't no way I'm gonna be able to draw those sheets. You don't have to. You can trace it. In fact, I re I recommend you tracing lettering for a while until you get confident and you feel like you can do it because that's intimidating. So if that's what you're thinking. Don't think that. Here's the template. Template. Trace it. I'll show you how to trace it. It's easy um, in class. So this is the template for this class. Okay. So I give you, like, we put this in your, uh, on the website or in the Facebook group for you to print out. So you can use carbon paper and trace on here if you'd like. I teach you how to draw it without it too. So you can decide. But the lettering, that's a lot of lettering for one and placement of it, it's intimidating because you think, well, what if I don't fit Shepherd in there, right? You've been following the devotionals for a while. Now I can do the private group. Yay, Marsha. Yes, you can. Martha, sorry. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, this is like sweet memories. Y'all, this is one of my favorites. I love it. I mean, I could just go back to this one. The lion in this one, Look at it. Look at it in both. It's beautiful in both. I think this would be a great Christmas card. And I show you, there's a class in there. You get class, you get classes all the way back for like two years. Lots of classes from the past when you sign up. It's like kind of like Netflix. You get them as long as you're a member. Um, but I teach you how to make uh, a print of this. So you can make Christmas. Uh, Christmas cards. You can watch this lesson and go do it. It's probably my favorite. So again, the holidays are coming up. We'll do some more fun themes for the holidays. Anyway, okay. I could talk forever about this, but I just want you to know you're going to love it. <laughs> you're going to love it. All right. Thank you all for, for watching and hanging out with me. I, I um. I love it. I'm passionate about what I do and I appreciate you for being a part of that and to have your attention and that you do love being a part of a community like I do. Okay. She put the link down there one more time. I can't wait till my son comes. So I'm going to let y'all go so I can get ready for that. But Debbie says one more time, we really want you. We really want you come join us. <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all later. Last day, last chance to sign up. Midnight. Bye.